It is the world as you've never quite seen it before, from the point of view of a rhino. Listen carefully and you can even hear it breathing. These extraordinary pictures come from a small camera fitted into the rhino's horn by British scientists. They hope it'll be a key weapon in the fight against poaching. You need to catch the poacher red-handed and that's what we're setting out to do and that's what we can do. Dr Paul O'Donoghue has worked in rhino conservation for 15 years. OK, so we just knocked out another rhino. The BBC gave him a camera to film a unique trial in South Africa. A hole is drilled into one of the rhino's horns and a camera inserted. It is apparently a painless procedure. The idea is to use a range of technology to catch the poachers. We're going to fit rhinos with monitors, biologgers, things like heart rate sensors, pressure sensors, that will detect the precise moment a rhino is killed. It's basically a burglar alarm for rhinos. You can sort of see the quality we've, of the image that we get from it. Paul's team has adapted existing surveillance technology. Their system uses both mobile phone and satellite communication. That ensures that we'll always be able to send an alert to the rangers to say that there's a, there's a problem with this animal, um, this is where it is. Incredible quality, yeah, isn't it? The, the rangers will be able to respond incredibly quickly to get to the animal. And that's the key. Millions of pounds a year is spent trying to protect rhinos. Armed guards patrol thousands of hectares of land, but only a handful of poachers has ever been caught. Yeah, somebody come and help them, so get tape round. With this system, if an animal is shot, the heart monitor triggers an alarm. The anti-poaching unit is alerted. The camera starts filming. Poachers will know when they pull the trigger on a rhino, there'll be a helicopter there in 10 minutes. What happens is poachers currently, they don't kill one rhino and leave. 10, 12, 15 rhinos killed in one or two nights. It's poaching outbreaks and we can stop this. It's the outbreaks of poaching that are decimating rhinos throughout the world. Back at base, Paul's team is able to watch live pictures from what he's called Rhino Cam. He now has backing from the authorities in South Africa to roll out the program. His team needs more funding, but he has support from some of the world's largest conservation charities. It's British ingenuity at its best, really, and we believe it has the potential to be an absolute game changer in the, in the global fight against poaching. Rhinos have been on the planet for 60 million years. They could be hunted to extinction within a decade. The hope is that Rhino Cam could help to save them. But there's the view from yeah. the top of the eagle. So it looks like that there is not too much wind on the top, so it's soaring. Uh, and we can see that uh, Jared Colivier is uh, controlling the, the flight. The masked crusader is easy to spot when he flies through the streets on this custom-built three-wheeled Chibat pod.